Hello people of the internet, I am Paul and today we have an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So we, we have some uh, fancy little sleeve to take off, uh, very basic. And then under that there's basically nothing. Um, so we have dual pixel camera on the back. Water and dust resistant, iris scanner, blah blah blah, a bunch of rubbish basically. The also satisfying feeling of breaking the security seal, if I can do it without scratching up the box. And as you open the box, the lovely foam, which is massive. And I'm going to be one of those people that decides to leave that till last. Okay, so underneath that, phone tray. Um, guess it, oh there's a nice little sim card tray pin there. And a bunch of paper. We have the... The plug, pretty basic, USB, three prongs, simples. A nice USB-C to A adapter, which is actually respect to the Samsung for including that. And I'm guessing, yeah, a USB-C to micro USB adapter, credit, because the ones that I bought off Amazon were terrible. We have some nice braided cable earphones. AKG, which on their own apparently are worth about 100 quid, so that's pretty cool. Fun fact, um, Samsung actually bought AKG just before their Samsung S8, so it was sort of like, a, yay, let's put this in. The phone, it's, um, I've actually got it in a grey, it kind of looks more of like a silvery blue. Um, wow, it feels really, it is really tall on the slim phone anyway, but it really f shows it once you have it in hand. It's actually shorter, but there is so much more sort of screen on it than, uh, than on the, the Nexus, so that's quite cool. It actually sits in the hand really nicely, being really thin and making the most of that front. And it's, it's a good start. And of course the important moment of peeling that plastic off. Oh, they're so satisfying. But wh why do they have to stick, stick that directly to the phone? That just... Okay, I'm getting that later. This is a uh, utter fingerprint magnet, by the way. But let's see if we can get it turned on. See if it please has battery. Yes, there we go. So this is probably gonna take a while, so I suppose let's get back in a minute. So I guess first impressions of the device, it's really thin. It actually fits quite well in the hand. Um actually using the device at the start is a little weird, but I think there's going to be a minor learning curve from my Nexus going from completely stock Android to the Samsung skin, which is still relatively thick. It feels really nice and the screen looks beautiful as you'd expect from a 1440 by 2960 AMOLED display, though I am already noticing that it this is going to be a massive fingerprint magnet. And on top of that, while I'm talking about how much a fingerprint magnet the back's going to be, the fingerprint scanner is quite weird. I would expect it to be on this side instead, or more down there where I'm used to, like on the Nexus 6P. But I'm really interested in actually getting to use this phone more as my daily driver for a of course, two years I've got this contract for. I know one of the things Samsung phones have had that are really good in the past few years, apart from their screens, was the cameras. So I'm getting interested into sort of seeing how good that is. One for vlogging at events, but also selfie. Though one thing that I will go over more in the review is the annoying Bixby button. It's something that's got a lot of attention. And yeah, you can finally turn it off but only if you make a Samsung account. I will note, however, you can get button remapping apps that will bypass the need for a Samsung account. For instance, on my phone, I have it linked to my Google Assistant. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I hope you've enjoyed this quick unboxing and first impressions of this so far seemingly awesome device. If you want to see a review, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button to give us good feedback, all of the usual awesome stuff. And follow me at snpy.tech slash Paul and then you can find all of my Twitters and whatever I decide to have on there. And until next time, I have been Paul, this has been Snappy Tech and peace out.